The federal government says it is set to plant about 25 million trees nationwide to help secure the nation's biodiversity. The Minister of Environment, Mohamed Abubakar, while briefing newsmen in Abuja on plans to mark World Environment Day, says there is a need to reduce consistent human intervention, which has continued to alter and disrupt natural habitats. Abubakar, while also revealing that seedlings will be distributed to state governments, says the Kaduna State Government will be the first to benefit about 1 million seedlings from its planned distribution exercise. Diversity is the foundation for life, and there are myriads of benefits amongst which are livelihoods and sustainable development, improvement and delivery of food security, growth, increase in job opportunity, strengthening of global healthcare support systems. The ecosystem is the baseline that holds all this together. Human interaction with the ecosystem must therefore remain balanced. Otherwise, <clears throat> we risk disrupting nature with their consequence as we are seeing with the COVID-19 pandemic. As part of ongoing effort to meet Mr. President's directives on planting of 25 million trees, and as a symbolic gesture to commemorate the 2020 World Environment Day in the country, I will be traveling to Kaduna Friday, where I will hand over 1 million seedlings to the Kaduna State Government. It is our ardent prayer and hope that the seedlings would be properly utilized to mitigate the effect of biodiversity, climate change, and improve on our natural habitats. Joining us now is Dr. Femi Idowu Adegoke, um, an environmentalist. Thank you very much for joining us. Good evening, Felicity. A pleasure to have you. Good evening. Now, the World Environment Day is marked to encourage worldwide awareness and action for the protection of the environment. How well are we faring as a nation in terms of protecting the environment? Oh, as a nation, we're, yeah, we're, tr we're doing what we can do so far, but there's still much to be done uh, as it concerns the uh, preservation of our biodiversity, which is uh, the theme for this year's uh, World Environment Day. In a video message uh, uh, for this occasion, the UN Secretary General warned that nature is sending us a clear message. He added that we are harming the natural world to our own detriment. How can we be deliberate yeah. in protecting nature as opposed to harming it? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the truth. For a very long time, human activity has um, affected or taken so much from nature without nurturing and preserving nature. And now, with what we've seen, even with the um, heartbreak of the pandemic, the COVID-19, we've been able to see how nature can get some back. So that's what the, um, the UN Secretary General was, the message is passing that, if there is any time for us to begin to um, preserve and nurture our nature, our nature for future generations, the time is now. So, and there are different things or different methods, different ways as individuals, as government, as uh, corporate bodies and institutions. There are different ways we can be part of that uh, preservation and nurturing. All right, the theme for the World Environment Day this year is time for nature. In a country like Nigeria, yes. um, or for instance, a state like Lagos, where everyone is busy and preoccupied, what can be done to revive the need to always reconnect with nature? And do we have enough provision where people can actually commune with nature? Yes, we do. Um, if not... What is happening to our environment and uh, relating to nature is not uh, perfect for what is happening to us in Nigeria on a general basis, on every aspect of our life. Uh, I can recall the former, about two, two times or three times ago now, the former governor of Lagos State, uh, that's uh, the present minister for works and housing, uh, in person of uh, Pashola, who during his tenure took parks and gardens, as in vegetation of Lagos creating parks and gardens around the state. It took it serious, but we had a, we had a, a retraction 
on that when the last um, administration before this present one came in, where everything was thrown into shambles. And that's why I will always say that we need to strengthen our uh, environmental laws and regulations and then enforcement. And then the policy and strategy, we need full implementation. This is the only way people will take what we, the campaign, the advocacy serious. When, there's, when they, they know that there's a, uh, like a punishment or reprimand if you're not doing what you're supposed to do. And let me quickly add, we need in our construction and our building works, our daily lives, we need to put things in place that must have, it has to be a must, that it must have an aspect of nature, caring for nature, so that we can preserve this nature for the coming generation. All right, uh, Dr. E. Femi Idewu Adegoke, thank you very much for joining us on the news. It's my pleasure.